e-learning studio tally marks hello children welcome back in our previous data handling video we learnt about pictograph children in today's video we will learn another way to represent the data which is tally chart let's start children what is a tally chart a tally chart is just one method of collecting data using tally marks and tally marks are represented through vertical line and a slanting line children now i'm going to tell you how we can represent the numbers 1 to 10 by vertical lines or slanting lines like it is one written here so children we can make one vertical line here this is the tally marks and this represents number 1 To represent number two, we make here two tally marks, one and two. For number three, we have to draw three tally marks, one, two, three. Now to represent number four, what will we do? Think. Yes, we have to draw four vertical lines, one, two, three, four. Now to represent number five. First we will draw four vertical lines 1 2 3 4 and after that we draw a slanting line this is a group of five tally marks children we use group of five tally marks in one place by drawing four vertical lines and one slanting line okay children now for number 6 we draw four vertical lines 1 2 3 four and then one slanting line to make it five and then one more vertical line six similarly to draw seven lines draw a group of five tally marks and then one two draw two vertical lines for a total of seven lines now how do we represent number 8 1 2 3 4 then make a slanting line 5 draw three more vertical lines for 6 7 and 8 similarly for 9 we will draw four vertical lines and then cut it with a slanting line 5 1 2 3 draw four vertical lines and now for 10 make a group of five for two times i hope you understood this Let's take an example to understand tally marks more. Here in this example, number of absentees in a class in a week is given, and we will prepare a tally chart according to given information. So here I have written the names of the days: Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and in the second column, absentees numbers: ten. 8 5 3 6 or 2 and now here we write the tally marks for these numbers let's start first number is 10 and for 10 we will draw 1 2 3 four vertical lines and then one slanting line for 5 and again draw four vertical lines for 6 7 8 9 and then make a slanting line for 10 next day is tuesday a number of absentees are 8 so children what will we do now yes we will draw a group of five tally marks and then 6 7 8 3 vertical lines for 8 now our next day is wednesday and your absentees numbers are 5 for 5 first we will draw 1 2 3 4 four vertical lines and then make a slanting line for 5 now next day is thursday and the number is 3 for this we will make only three vertical lines 1 2 3 next day is friday and the number is 6 for 6 first we make a group of five tally marks 1 2 3 4 vertical lines 
and then one slanting line for 5. After that, one more vertical line for 6. And the last day is Saturday. The number is 2. So what will we do? For this, children, think, think, yes. We will draw 1 and 2. Two vertical lines for number 2. Children, I hope this is clear to all of you. Thank you and happy learning.